Well, hey, welcome back. Today's video, we're gonna be installing OBD2 port on an LS swap vehicle. Let's get into it. So this right here, is what you have on modern cars up in the underneath and then you can plug your scan tool that guy into your pcm which is that guy and it allows you to do diagnostics checking and everything else also allows you to do tuning all that fun stuff from inside your car so i bought this off evil bay it was like 20 bucks his ict Nah, there was cheaper ones on there for 10 bucks. So you can go to a junkyard and get them probably for a couple bucks. Anyone, any OBD2 portal work. Um, pretty simple. Let's get into the install. So as I mentioned, these are mounted up underneath the dash somewhere. You can mount it wherever the hell you want, really. Um, really simple. It's got four pins on it right here, right here, right here, right here. Uh, this one is your serial port from your ECM, PCU, PU, whatever thing you want to do. These two right here are going to be groundages. This one is a constant 12 volt source. So purple is the serial port, black is obviously green, and then the orange is constant 12 Vs. Now we're gonna hook it up to your PCM. It's quite simple, once you get it pulled off, if you're this far into an LS swap and you've depinned stuff, then you're pretty familiar with it. But if you're not, Google how to depin a PCM LS wire harness and then you'll, you'll see what we're talking about here. On my harness, I have the uh, older style, which is a blue-red connector. Uh, the other one would be blue-green for the newer models. But they're all the same because you're going to want the C2, the blue, the blue guyer jobber here. And what you're going to do is you got these little numbers, as you can see on there. Uh, pin number is focus. Focus. There we go. See that pin 58 right, right there? Right there? 58, it's that green wire that's popping off here. And then I threw it. But it's this green wire that comes off right here. This one goes into the harness and then it stops about right where a pigtail would be. Then it would plug in from there and go into your cab of your car. What we're going to do is we are going to connect the purple guy from here to the green wire right there. Of course, with length, and we're going to drag it, drag it into our dash and whatever else. So... That's it. Tap into that, hook it up. So now we got to find a place to mount it. And as you can see, my dash is all ripped apart because Angus is getting new gauges and everything, which I'm building currently. That's why I'm on this step. But you just want to have a location. If you want it hidden, hide it. Just mount it somewhere, let it dangle. But you have to get to it if you want to plug into it. That's the whole point. Um, I'm probably going to end up mounting it underneath the dash somewhere like it is factory. I don't know, usually they're over here out of my way, so I'm not kicking it. Maybe I'll put it somewhere out of my freaking way over here. I don't know, yeah. I don't know. What I'm getting at is mount it in somewhere wherever you want and then add wires and make it work. So purple, serial port from the computer, ground it somewhere with these two grounds. Just do both because I guess both the uh, grounds, different scanners, they read different stuff. Ground them both. And then constant, constant power for this one. And that's all you need. So here is this all in here for right now. I just got it zip tied dangling. I don't know where I'm gonna put it. Got enough cable where I can mount it here. I don't know, mount it here. I don't, haven't figured that out yet. I got a radio to install yet. Speakers, you know. So as I mentioned, short, sweet video on how to install an OBD2 port into your LS swapped vehicle. Questions, comments, concerns, leave them below. I'll leave a link in the description to this. It's just on eBay. Google it, but I'll leave a link. Thanks, everyone, for watching. We'll see you next time.